So when are you going to HPA then? Bro, go HPA. You're going to get so much more range of performance. Dude, you're tired of hearing that gearbox whine. Go HPA, man. You probably don't have an extra $400 laying around right now, but honestly, that's not important. Fam, go HPA. HPA. What are you doing? Dude, come on. Upgrade to HPA so you can shoot far. Come on, man. HPA so when are you going to efficient, consistent, and reliable, money. Dude, you want to trace your dumb I can take Jesus. Seriously, when are you going to HPA that? Enough! Enough! Jesus f Christ! Fine! Oh, s***! Financially recover from this. HPA f boy mode activated. <laughs> hey y'all, Serpa here. I'm super excited to show off some gameplay with my recently upgraded HK416A5 with the Polar Star F2 engine. I'll be making another video in the future just talking about the gun and breaking down all of the upgrades that I have with this gun and I guess just some overall basic backstory with it as well. In today's video, I'm playing at Striker Airsoft in Hackettstown, New Jersey. For the first game, we are playing a game mode called Hardpoint. If you're familiar with the game mode on Call of Duty, it plays out just like that. There are multiple objectives on the map that both teams have to fight to take control over. The twist is that both teams will have to secure and defend one objective at a time for a few minutes. Once that time passes, the objective or hardpoint is no longer active and a new hardpoint is selected that both teams have to try to take over and defend. The team that is able to control the majority of the hardpoints in the game wins. The middle of the map or suicide alley was the first hardpoint that we had to control. I hope you enjoy. Hello. No, you didn't, bro. Okay, 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 okay. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me.
Vai, 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 vai. So the second game was a round of King of the Hill. There was an objective that both teams had to try to secure and defend for a certain amount of time. The team that is able to secure and defend the hill for a certain amount of time first wins the game. If a team loses control of the hill, their time does not reset. So for example, if they lost the hill with three minutes left to defend, if they regain control of the hill, they will still have three minutes left to defend. Hope you enjoy. King of the hill, three, two, one, go! Bang, bang, bang. So the last game mode was called Hot Cold. It's basically team deathmatch with one twist. When the lights are on, it's just a standard team deathmatch game with semi-automatic only, but when the lights turn off, fully automatic is allowed to be used. Taking a headshot in CQB Airsoft with no helmet be like. Jesus! Come on! Lucky pass!
Keep in mind it is now semi-automatic only when the lights are on. That pretty much wraps up the video. I had an absolute blast that day and I was really pleased with the performance of my upgraded 416. Despite being anti-HPA for about two years, I'm ultimately glad I finally caved in and made the switch. I'm looking forward to learning more about the Polar Star F2 engine and maybe possibly trying out some other engines in the future, but knowing me, once I find something that really works well for me, I tend to just stick with it. So I will probably be dropping the same setup in my other guns, and I can't wait until I'm able to do so. Especially my Mark 46. That should be a lot of fun. Anyways, enough of me rambling. Thanks for watching, y'all. As always, push things to the limit, and have fun. Serpent out.